Today we are going to review the advanced configuration settings of eBoxes. By the end of this video, you will understand the settings available to you in advanced configuration and be able to conduct a radio pass-through. We will be completing this video in the advanced air config mode. If you haven't already, you can review the basic eBox configuration in our previous video. We will once again need to query the eBox devices to get a list of the current devices in radio range. We will also connect through TCP IP. The Advanced Air Config contains additional device configuration options. On the Network tab, two additional options are available in the Control Security Firmware section. The first is Change ID. When you configure an eBox, it will have a preset, randomized base ID. The base ID is the starting point for the 128 IDs that the eBox will use to communicate with receivers. For example, if your base ID is 1, you will have the IDs 1 through 128 attached to the eBox. This is important because every Inotion signal needs one unique ID per output to communicate with receivers. Once again, the base ID is the starting point for 128 unique Inotion IDs. The Change ID button allows you to change the base ID, and as a result, the 128 unique Inotion IDs. The only time you would want to use the Change ID button would be if you were replacing an already configured eBox. When you click on the Change ID button, you will have the option of creating a new ID in decimal or hexadecimal format. I will not be pressing send in this example, but once you complete your changes, press send to configure the new Inotion ID. You will only be able to change the ID 10 times before the ID is permanently locked in. This is an Inotion standard setting. Additionally, you will be able to set password keys for access to the eBox configuration. You can enter three keys with the numbers ranging from 0 to 255. On the FDR tab, you have the options to set up the eBox's foreign device registration. Please note, the following settings are not mandatory. If you do not want to connect to multiple BACnet networks, do not change the FDR settings. The BBMD status shows if the eBox is currently registered with a foreign device. You can view and update the BBMD IP address and the BBMD ports as needed. You also have the options of updating the time to life duration. Finally, if you decide to connect to multiple BACnet networks, you can complete the registration by pressing this button. On the Configuration tab, there are a few new options you can edit. Auto Learn, when checked, will make it so every device within radio range of the eBox with an active Inotion Learn Telegram will be automatically added to the input list. We highly suggest that you do not check this box, as it might create unnecessary inputs. You also have the option to update the BACnet port and network IDs, as needed. There are a few additional features you can access in general in the Advanced Air Config. When you use TCP IP to access a device, you will see new options if you right-click on that device a second time. The first set of options you have available are the read and write the XML file. This allows you to read the current, custom XML file used by the eBox, as well as write a new one for updates and changes. You can also find an error log, where you can read the current log and erase it as needed. You can only do these options when connected through TCP IP. The final option you have with the eBox is the radio pass-through. This allows you to identify sensors that are within the eBox's radio range. It is a helpful way to recognize sensors within the range of an eBox, but are not in your immediate area, as the sensors will appear based on the eBox's signal strength compared to your PC. Please note, you do not need a USB radio transceiver plugged into your computer or laptop when you are using radio pass-through. This concludes the tutorial on the advanced eBox configuration. You should now understand the settings available to you in advanced configuration and be able to conduct a radio pass-through. Subscribe for more tutorial videos on all of the Magnum Energy Solutions product line, and if you have any questions you can find our contact information in the description below.